Ladies and gentlemen, Jonas Anthony, CH Munchet, signing back in. And what I'm going to be bringing you here is a first part of a series called How to be an Effective Squad Leader. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, to, to give some advice and, um, and make some videos about how to be a squad leader. And um, I've been thinking a lot about this and uh, trying to, like, formulate what I wanted to, you know, portray on how to be a squad leader. <laughs> And I couldn't, I thought I couldn't do it in, in, in one video, so I've kind of divided this up. It's gonna perhaps gonna be in, in kind of like a three or four video series. I'm gonna be talking about this first one about how to be an offensive or attacking squad leader. So uh, this is about how you attack, how you get in the enemy's face and, um, and really start to do some damage, uh, helping out your team and, and spawning people up close and up in the combat. This is by far the most dangerous. Um, kind of squad leader you can be then I'm gonna be showing you guys the more like passive squad leader um, the squad leader doesn't you know stay like at medium distance from the combat and uh, really really you know make sure that he stays alive and then at the final video I think I'm gonna be showing you how to play defensive squad leader and this is perhaps the most important role how to be a squad leader that's able to stay alive in in the cap zones like for example C on Pavlos house where the squad leader one would stay and for the Russian side would stay in the basement of C on Pavlos house so um, that is kind of the layout of this uh, this video series and uh, a lot of guys have been asking for it and uh, you know here we're gonna get it and let's uh, jump straight into this stuff and as you see in the background here you see on um, Stalingrad Kessel I'm playing with the uh, members of the Russian resistance and uh, just as a disclaimer you know there's uh, gonna be a lot of silliness going on in the voice chat and uh, on TeamSpeak this is not in any sort of uh, sense minded on insulting any anybody or doing something people are just uh, you know saying uh, talking a lot of shit so uh, don't mind uh, that a lot of the talk is going on in, in our team speak so it's not minded at anybody specific uh, in the game so when we get the uh, when we get that uh, out of the way I am going to be starting to talk what um, the nature of the offensive squad leader is. Um, if we look at the squad leader as a role, you're going to be having the submachine gun. Um, that's going to make you able to fight your way into the per into enemy position. I, of course, or not of course, but I usually prefer the PPSH um, with the, uh, you know, of course, with the drum mag. So the 41. So we're going to have a lot of fire, a lot of fire going down. I can really you know defend myself well with this gun and um, and then of course you're gonna be having your smoke grenades um, and a little quick tip here there is a, a misunderstanding that people think um, to get two smoke grenades that you need to drop your one smoke grenade then go to the ammo crate get a new one you can actually just run up to the ammo crate and it will automatically give you a second smoke grenade so you can actually as a squad leader have two smoke grenades carried and this is very uh, useful, especially you're going to be seeing here on Pavlos, uh, sorry, on uh, Stalingrad Castle, where I'm going to be trying to get up into the enemy's face and get into, an, uh, into a good position. But as an offensive squad leader, you're going to be having to take some chances. You're going to be having to uh, to know the map. That's why it's it's the more difficult role to play, because it is acceptable to take losses. It's actually okay to go up into the face of the enemy and then, you know, take the losses and... Um, and take some chances before getting into a good position. In this gameplay footage here, you're going to be seeing me take a lot of chances. And 
The reason why I take these chances is so I can get up to the top of the sniper building. This is the building overlooking both um, Delta and Charlie and uh, Bravo and Alpha to some extent. It is the center highest feature on the map and you're gonna be seeing me trying to get in behind here using these smoke grenades to get into the German sea field. This route opens up when the attacking team captures a building. When the attacking team captures a building, the spawn protection on the rest of the map goes away. So that means you can actually get in behind the enemy lines and get up behind the enemy position. And what we do, as you see, uh, you're gonna be seeing this gameplay footage, we run in throw some smoke grenades, I do, and then try and make my way up there. And when I succeed in getting up there, it is actually probably the most important value of our offensive squad leader, the ability to stay calm and to stay still and not get excited and start thinking about kills. Now, I don't know, I actually don't kill pretty much anybody in this uh, in this gameplay because I'm just focused on getting into a good position and just staying there for my team. I could easily have run around shooting at people, um, but I get up on top of this roof and I lie, lay still and, uh, and spawn people in. So let's uh, sum this up. As an offensive squad, it's actually okay to die if you know, you're being effective. That's the code word I always say in Red Orchestra. Are you going to be effective on the long run for your team? Are you going to be able to do more damage to the enemy than you're costing in tickets, for example, as a squad leader? So by getting my squad into a favorable position, I'm easily able to actually inflict, um, you know, I, I, as I see the decisive victory in this game, I'm able to provide my team a spawn, prote spawn opportunity on top of the primary building in this on this map the high ground building if you might say that the, uh, the defending team would get machine gunners up in the windows of of this sniper or delta building they would be able to kill anybody trying to get into the delta cap zone so that is why i made that choice there is also other maps where you can be an offensive uh, squad leader for example pablo's house as the germans or as the russians uh red october factory pretty much any map um, that has, you know, any attacking map, there is opportunities to go be offensive, get into sneaky positions and actually spawn your people in offensively. Um, yeah, and I, of course I have to encourage my squad to take advantage of this uh, great opportunity to get in the face of the enemy. And, uh, and they do, and uh, we're actually able to, um, you know, to do some real damage and actually, and as, as I see it, win the, win the game for the team. So guys, um, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, series, and uh, and really, uh, I hope you're looking forward to the next episodes. I'm surely mm, looking forward to making them, and please um, let me know uh, what you think about this series. Um, do you have any tips on being an offensive squad leader? And um, yeah, please let me know what you think. I always try to reply to the comments, and uh, yeah, leave a comment if you already hadn't subscribed. Please subscribe to my channel and give it all uh, a thumbs up and check out the playlist. There's a lot of uh, other videos you can check out. So yeah, this is all for me, guys. I really hope you enjoy this. Have a nice evening. Bye bye. There's Follow a me, sniper watching there. To your left. That's where you want to go. Defilade windows. Defilade, whatever. That would be. That MG would be just down in B. Move up. Bravo's clear. Bravo's clear. That doesn't exactly make it less likely. Yes, yeah, attack, attack B. Squad two, move from the tunnel to B. I'm blowing up assholes in B the is clear. Uh, hallway. In. Someone set an MG on the top of the roof, and we can clear them all out. You know, we have the most godly position here on top of the fucking sniper building. Right? They're taking it now. It's just you and your friends here, Jonas. Unless yeah, my, uh, yeah. my dead uh, satchel gets it. all. Shit, no one. Okay, uh, guys, under the... in the tunnel. Oh, heads when up, you're I think, General. everyone to oh, cap really? kind of pissed them off this shit. Guys, I put smoke. I put smoke. Attack. Get out from the tunnel. Attack. Attack. Octopus. Move. 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 Go. 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 Come on. Yeah, they're coming up the other corridor. Move. Move. Attack. Attack. 
What the stop go, go, go. Get, get out, windows. get out. Oh, I can be a hero now. Awesome. You can be my hero, baby. Get out, get out. That's all. Yeah, etc. How aren't we fucking destroying them on this? Hey, guys, you need to attack A. Do not go run straight out of B. Run to the right up close to sniper building. We got still got control of sniper building. And run that way. Coming, coming. Is this not working or what? Guys, I put smoke to get outside the tunnel. Attack! Move, 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 cooked up, move, screw. Move, move, Nobody move, move, seems move. to be going any attack, other attack, way. Attack, attack, attack. Just uh, through this building. Get out from and up. the tunnel. We've got oh, smoke. Guys, you need to attack, attack, attack the attack, point attack. out of A, out of B. Yeah, there get we go. Us. Yes, very here nice. Here we go, here we nice. go. Yeah, you guys should be clearing those windows, aren't you? They're not shooting out of the windows, are they? Guys, which window? Uh, don't throw Downstairs, grenades, guys. Inside the sniper building. Please. We got control of the sniper building, right? Sorry, yeah. Perus, sorry, Perus. Okay, go. Delta's clear. Man, there's friendlies down the road, Jack. Don't do that. Don't throw hand grenades, there's friendlies. This fucking MP40 Come just on. killed everyone. Come on, out of uh, out of B building, guys. Here we go. We still control sniper building. We got uh, we got the control to top. So. What should happen is MP coming up. I'm overlooking your position. Bye -bye. The most clear. They're all hiding on the left flank. If you can get some grenades there, you can kill them all. Blue grenades through the smoke. They're all hiding in one position. Fucking brilliant move, General. Thank you. Baba, on left. Okay, he's dead. But it doesn't look like people actually taking advantage yeah, of this. We're kind of stuck in the building. That's the problem. Do we want to go some, out? Uh, good shots. No, no, no. There. We got the building now. It's clear. It's clear. It's just you, your girl, and your Johnson. Good job, well guys. Hmm. Both Good medals. Oh, oh it's it look like.
ladies and gentlemen, distance from the combat and uh, really, really, you know, make sure that he stays alive. And then at the final video, I think I'm going to be showing you how to play defensive squad leader. And this is perhaps the most important role, how to be a squad leader that's able to stay alive in, in the cap zones. Like for example, C on Pavlov's house, where the squad leader 1 would stay, and for the Russian side, would stay in the basement of C on Pavlov's house. So, um, that is kind of the layout of this uh, this video series. And uh, a lot of guys have been asking for it, and uh, you know, here we're gonna get it. And let's uh, jump straight into this stuff and as you see in the background here you see on um, Stalingrad castle I'm playing with the uh, members of the Russian resistance and uh, just as a disclaimer you know there's uh, gonna be a lot of silliness going on in the voice chat and uh, on TeamSpeak this is not in any sort of uh, sense mi minded on insulting every anybody or doing something people are just uh, you know saying uh, talking a lot of shit so uh, don't mind uh, General Anthony, C.H. Mulchett, signing back in. And what I'm going to be bringing you here is a first part of a series called How to Be an Effective Squad Leader. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, to, to give some advice and, um, and make some videos about how to be a squad leader. And um, I've been thinking a lot about this and uh, trying to, like, formulate what I wanted to, you know, portray on how to be a squad leader. <laughs> And I couldn't, I thought I couldn't do it in, in, in one video, so I've kind of divided this up. It's going to perhaps going to be in in kind of like a three or four video series. I'm going to be talking about this first one about how to be an offensive or attacking squad leader. So uh, this is about how you attack, how you get in the enemy's face and, um, and really start to do some damage uh, helping out your team and, and spawning people up close and up in the combat. This is by far the most dangerous. Um, kind of squad leader you can be then I'm gonna be showing you guys the more like passive squad leader um, the squad leader doesn't you know stay like at medium